is today we will talk about some regrets that we have after our BTO application and also after our renovations. So I hope that this video will be useful to you guys and let's get started. Our first regret is getting a 4-room BTO instead of a 5-room. So if you have watched my home tour video, you know that I actually knocked down the walls of my bedroom 3 to create a bigger living space. When we did our application, we just felt like it wasn't worth it to pay extra money for that space behind the living room. But nearer to our key collection, we just made the decision to knock off our bedroom 3. We actually don't really regret the act of hacking down um, one of the bedroom walls, but we kind of regret not getting a 5 room flat instead. Because with the suggested study area we could have behind the living room, um, we might be able to keep the bedroom 3 as a guest room. But you can't deny that um, this decision actually helped us to save quite a bit of money because the difference in price for that small extra space is actually pretty huge. The second regret is opting out of HDB for tiles. We actually chose to opt out because we thought that we wanted more flexibility and we didn't know what kind of floor we wanted so we just decided to opt out. As a result, we have to pay around $4,000 for the screening of the cement floor and if we just opt in for HDB tiles, we can just overlay vinyl on top of it and it is actually much more cost saving. So the third regret is opting in for HDB dolls. When we saw the samples at the HDB hub, we just thought that um, they are wooden and they are quite nice, let's just opt in and save money. So at the beginning of the renovation, um, our contractor told us that we can't really have a step down shower area for our common bathroom because um, the HDB doors were too low and they are unable to trim it to create um, the leveling for the step down. So we actually went ahead to do a flat surface for the tiles because we didn't want to have a curb. The quality of the bathroom doors were really bad but we didn't want to change it away because we have really paid for it so we tried to went back and forth with BSC to rectify the magnetic clicking system issue and also the ugly workmanship of the hinges behind but every time a rectification is done another problem arises and it's just really tiring to go back and forth booking appointments so we decided to just change out the doors eventually nearing the end of the project and we still have to live with the fact that um, our shower area has no step down so we will definitely opt out of the doors and just get new ones if we were to do BTO again before I continue, I'd like to share that this video is brought to you by Home Trust, Singapore's trusted review site for homeowners. Today, I'd like to share more about Home Trust website. So, scrolling past the articles and reviews which I've talked about in our previous videos, you will see a section that is really nicely curated where you can explore interior design styles based on the trending themes and very specific spaces such as the entryway, the study, etc. So below this, they break it down further to various smaller features such as um, vinyl flooring, wardrobe and mirror. So it's really really specific. And there's other categorization below. So I find this whole section really meticulously curated and very easy to navigate so I highly recommend all future homeowners to check it out right now. So moving on, my fourth 
regret is not shifting up electrical points. So to save some money, we actually kept many of our electrical points at their original locations. So most of these points are now hidden by furnitures because they are like at the corners and not very accessible. Initially, I thought that we are humans and we can actually um, adapt to the environment. We can easily bend down and access to these points, but I'm wrong. Um, nowadays, we just fight for the more accessible electrical points. So if I were to turn back time, I'll definitely shift these points up above the desk, above the drawers. The next regret is actually not adding electrical points at the island table. So the reason why we didn't have any is because we thought that um, doing the wiring through the kitchen tiles and all that is a little bit troublesome and we didn't want to pay for that. So we just thought that we will leave without a point at that area. But after living at the house for some time, we just thought that we should have planned for one or two points at that area because it actually makes a very good charging station and we could have displayed our Google Home display over there and also use some appliances over there. So this is definitely one of the regrets. The next point is also about electrical points. So um, we regret not having uh, more electrical points at our pantry area. So there are two original electrical points given um, which we use for our vacuum and our fan. And then we added two more for our dispenser and coffee machine. So recently my husband wanted to display his Google display at this area but we didn't have any extra points so the wire is just left hanging like this. Um, we can actually use a multi plug or an extension so this issue is not the biggest to me. The seventh regret is actually the mirror in my common toilet. I think I've mentioned it in my Taobao furniture haul video. Um, I just regret getting this mirror cabinet from Taobao. Um, sound on, listen to the screeching sound when I open it. It's really quite annoying, so if I were to um, choose again, I'll definitely choose another design. Um, definitely not this one. So the last regret I have is actually about the size of my bathtub. So many actually believe that I will regret having a bathtub um, when I told them that I'm going to buy one. But I can tell you that I don't regret having a bathtub. But I do regret getting this particular bathtub. Even though I've mentioned how the size fits perfectly, but we eventually realized that the volume of this bathtub is actually pretty huge. So our storage heater is actually not enough to fill the bathtub with hot water. So sometimes we have to boil our own water to let it be at the right temperature to soak in. And of course, we are concerned that um, using so much water is not environmentally friendly and we are also concerned about the bills. So we seldom have um, soak-ins unless we really felt like we needed one or if it's a special occasion. So if given more time, I feel that I should probably look further um, for a smaller bathtub that suits our bathroom. So these are the 8 regrets I have regarding my BTO renovation. See you in the next video. Thank you.